Hi folks, this is Max from uh, RootGalaxyNote.com. Um, so I've got a quick overview of Slim Wizrom. Uh, what's in right now with the Galaxy Note uh, GTN 7000? Um, this is the international version. Is that uh, a lot of ROM makers are making tablet versions now? Uh, Paranoid Android ROM. If you've tried it before, you know it's in tablet mode and stuff. But this one is a little bit different. That it's based off TouchWiz. Um, so it's kind of like turning your Galaxy Note into Galaxy Note 10.1. Um, you do get Note 2 Gallery app, uh, which is really nice. Um, look, working just just nice here. And also you do get the uh, shortcuts buttons down here. And also for your multi-window, now becomes like the tablet Note 10.1 style. Um, so you can open up Chrome and uh, your favorite second browser there if you want. And uh, you know, a little bit different from the phone version is that when you tap on um, wherever you have to enter something, um, it will go back to full screen. So that's kind of nice, and then it'll go back to whatever size you set. And uh, um, you know, it's enabled for all apps. Um, so any app you want to use, oops, uh, let's see, gallery here, you get the full Note 10.1 effect. Um, kind of interesting here, and also let go of the uh, the multi flash bar well multi view window uh, so working really well just this whole ROM is basically a tablet um, version of your TouchWiz based ROM and also it's an uh, running Android 4.1.2 a uh, slim Wiz 2 tablet uh, ROM and uh, very nice so try it out and do let me know if this is something you're looking for and also I think this is a screenshot right there whoops uh, let me show you. Also for multi-window, I forgot to show you uh, one more cool thing that uh, with the phone version, uh, phone, phone version multi-window, you're not able to uh, open up, let's say, uh, multiple windows in Cascade uh, versus this one should be able to do it. Simply hit that Cascade button down here. Um, now you you can open up uh, multiple windows here. I know it gets a little bit confusing, but still cool that you can open up uh, more windows in Cascade. Uh, let me open up some more stuff. Let's say um, Nova Launcher setting. No. S Planner. There we go. So I've got S Planner open. Let's see. Play Store will open. There you go. So you can do so many things uh, with this ROM. It's interesting. And uh, you know what? It is very interesting. So you can open up three, uh, let's see, open up four, um, all multitasking, just like a computer. So very interesting ROM to play around with. I'm sure you will have a, a ton of ton of fun using this ROM. And uh, go ahead and try it if this is something you're looking for. And do let me know what you think of the multitasking capabilities, uh, which is more like a Galaxy Note uh, 10.1. And also, if you hit that uh, dual pane button, you'll simply hit the latest two you've opened uh, in the dual pane mode. And of course, you can go sideways also. Um, at times, this ROM does get a little bit laggy. Uh, <clears throat> I believe that's due to the fact that uh, this has been made for, um, not really made for this phone, but still usable. It's not like super, super laggy. It is very usable. Um, so check it out for your Galaxy Note International GTN 7000 ROM of the Week Slim Wiz. And if you have a Galaxy Note, as always, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, rootgalaxynote.com. And uh, also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button down there. And when you install this ROM, make sure you use a save kernel. I use Abyss all the time. Um, just make sure you use a save kernel and reboot into recovery before you install it. And that's about it. Have a great uh, week and stay high on Android.